Hey everybody, it's old folks. I um, wanted to do the next week's video on the question and answer, so I'm going to look at some of the questions that were asked and kind of go over them, talk a little bit about the game, uh, in general some of the patch notes, stuff like that. And so, uh, let's just kind of jump right into it. Uh, you know, people have always asked me, how do I level up faster? I did a video on that. The simplest way, real short, is to make sure you're doing the to-do list. <laughs> Beyond that, there's no other faster way. Um, you just got to spin gems and do the to-do list. That's really about it. Um, you know, the question is, is, uh, is it worth, you know, investing, um, heroes if your, uh, legendaries aren't five stars? Is it worth, you know, going for legendaries if you're not going to get them five star? And I've done videos on this too, and my answer is no. Uh, you know, there's debate about is Vortex worth it at three stars if he's fully prayed up and fully ruined out? I mean, he's still going to do damage. He just doesn't have the hit points. Um, and that puts him in a very precarious position to get bursted down real quick. Um, people might not think about it, but one or two crits can really kill later on. And when you're missing a 20% of your life pool or more uh, because you're not 5-star, because you're not Silver Star or something like that, it, it really does hurt. Um, so we'll kind of leave that alone. You know, when a hero's a silence, are there passive skills or buffs still in effect? You know, the, the cool thing is, yes, you know, um, passives are still in effect. So all it does is it prevents you from casting another thing. So let's say I've got my ultimate ready on, um, I'm going to pick Mira here. I can't cast it while she's silenced. That doesn't matter. But her passive lifesteal, if she's under 30% health because of the item that I'm running on her, um, here is going to still do its its business, so it's it's not going to silence that. It just doesn't allow her to cast any other you know skills um, that are are considered like ultimates. Um, you know, somebody said again, if I start on a new server and I only buy one legendary, you know, what should it be? Um, answer this a lot of times. The answer is vortex. Um, let's just be honest. That's that's the go to right now. Um, it's is it broken? There's a lot of debate about that, but in the end, Vortex. Uh, that is your most powerful legendary at this time. Um, some might argue differently, but I'm the one with the microphone. So, um, you know, if, if you're going to spend the gems on that, it's going to cost you. You could buy Monk Sung. Monk Sung is a good tank. problem with that is, uh, you know, his uh, outside of what he does early on in later games, you know, if you're not building around that stun, that knock-up kind of thing, there's a few other better tanks out there. Um, late game for some of the stuff they do because they have captain skills um, so I would probably just build vortex uh, straight out damage and stuff like that um, I'm also looking at uh, people say what is diamond four nights you know I got it when I purchased uh, gems that's the basic uh, thing here we'll go up to here mm -hmm. I don't know if I'll show it I can't get it because I have it. Oh, here it is. So basically, Diamond Fortnite, uh, I'm not going to do it, but basically over 14 days, you collect 120 gems. You have to log in every day. So if you don't log in every day, you're wasting gems. Um, so it's it's good to have. It's a good little return on investment. But if you're not going to log in, don't do it. Uh, it's a good way for them to get five bucks out of you every 14 days. Um, on your last day that it expires, if you buy it again, you get to collect those gems again that day. So, you know, it's, it's also kind of cool that way. Um... And, and everything from there somebody asked about a video on prayer points uh, I've done a video on prayer uh, if there's a more specific question I'll gladly answer that um, you know basically one of the things that we start running into is you know uh, I'll take Shabbos for example uh, I've been doing guru prayers and I've been getting zeros here zeros here zeros here <laughs> and this keeps going up and at some point, I'm, I'm going to lose points here um, because I'm going to hit the cap on that. And so it's going to subtract it. And I'll go ahead and accept that if it gives me points down here because um, I'm wanting to get my third dot, which is the extra armor. Once you hit level 19, um, you know, basically at that point, uh, I, I get that max attribute increase. Um, and then basically, um, then finally at level 20, you get the 10% to the guru prayer. Uh, which you know cuts off some cash there um, The question is also somebody said what's the difference between relative power and actual power? Um, I've shown a few videos and This is all about team composition So we'll look here So his current 
absolute power is 230,000. Um, Empires is 190, basically. Mine is uh, 203. Um, we both can beat him, depending on how we change up our team. And then he beats me, I beat him, he beats me. I mean, there's a, a thing. So just because he's got 40,000 more power doesn't mean that his team composition can beat our team composition when we change it to beat it. Now, his composition is very tough, and that's part of the game. But... Um, what happens is is you could take the top five guys you have and they could be huge guys but let's say they're all tanks so you have a tank of a team of five tanks it's not really a great team composition so their relative power is kind of minimal so i could take um, heroes that are twenty thousand power or less each put them against those five tanks and destroy them because their relative power is much higher because of how they work together how they do damage so that's what we mean when we talk about relative power and absolute power just having a lot of power isn't going to guarantee you a win if your team is not designed to work together so that's how you see these teams like i posted a video you know with a fifty thousand point difference where you know you can still beat the other guy uh, because your relative power is higher um one of the other things you know somebody said should i should i use chavez or uther for um, tank position um you know i'm gonna go with chavez uther's not bad late game but he doesn't bring as much to the table um, some might argue against me if I'm going to run a single tank um, as Chavez does. Uh, Chavez has a lot of flexibility both on a magic team with the Merlin or on someone, I mean, on just as a standard tank. Um, so it's kind of one of those things where I'm probably going to run Chavez if I had a pick over it. Now, obviously, Uther ones are easier to get. Um, you can spend a lot of money in the gold wishing area. But, I mean, that's just kind of the question, you know what I'm saying? Um people say you know is it worth um, concentrating on AD or AP you know uh, there's a lot of AP teams out there you know the, the the honest answer is if you're a lower VIP player you're really limited by what you get from the um, wishing well here you know when you get your uh, free wishes um, you're really limited by what you get and so if all you get are AD guys, then you're going to have to build an AD team. And if all you get are AP guys, then you're going to have to build a, an AP or magic team, as we call it. Um, so you're, you're really limited by what you get from the pool. Um, they each have their strength and their weaknesses. Again, part of the issue we run into are 98% of all the legendaries are, are magic based. So um, that's why you see so many magic teams. Um, you know, then what do I think about Max? You know, I, I did a video on that. Um, I got a few guys that have uh, really been playing with it. I know a few guys that are out there today. Um, I clicked on the wrong thing. No, I didn't. I clicked on the right one. Um, and they're buying um, the Soul Stones here because, you know, you can get them today. So you can get up to 300 uh, Soul Stones to get him um, leveled up. Uh, a lot of people think Max is going to have a, a, a big play in the arena. It's kind of like um, Crash does against Sebastian. We'll see how that fully works out. I can't answer that completely, but there's a few guys that are in that mindset. Um, we'll kind of see where that ends up going from there. Um, I, I don't know. But, uh, and then some of the other things, you know, um, people ask me questions, you know, what do I do uh, as far as if I'm an elder, I'm a leader of an alliance, how do I get people to come in? I did a video on that. Now, I think that's really important. A lot of it's going to be your people skills and the direction you lead your alliance. The truth though is everybody's uh, got a life and it's hard sometimes to um, keep people in game. Uh, I had a few guys in the alliance that I'm in right here on Sue, huge players, and then they just disappeared, gone. I mean, for a month and, and no one knows what happened. And people are like, well, maybe they'll come back. And I'm like, maybe, but there's no guarantee. Um, and you know, I mean, you just never know what happens. So, uh, there's not much you can do about it. Uh, the last kind of question here, uh, actually I'll talk about two of them. Um, I, I don't have Gerber. and People say, why don't you have Gerber? Uh, I'm going to go over here to Abyss Treasure. Uh, you know, over here you can buy Gerber. Uh, you can get uh, his stones here. I'm actually real close uh, to getting him. Not because I purchased any of his stones, but just of what I've gotten over time. Gerber is not a bad tank, but he's not what I would consider a great tank. He, for me, is a is a C, B tank. He, he does okay, 
Um, there's a lot of better tanks out there. Um, and since I have um, legendary tanks, or I have Jacob, or I have Chavez, or I went with Kaiser. I mean, there's a lot of things that I could say about tanks. I didn't invest the points in that. I, I went ahead and I, I built York because uh, my goal is to build a uh, team based off of York with the Lone Dog um, down the road at some point. So I didn't pick him. If you're if you're needing a tank, um, go with it. If you went with uh, Thanos or Spar in the arena, then obviously you're going to want to take um, him here. And then finally... Um, so I was asked, you know, what do I think about Sizo's last equipment? I'm the, the Azure guy, and so we're going to pull it up and we'll take a look at it. Um, basically, um, each attack will increase the hero's basic attack. The effect can stack. If you can get to Orange 2, I think out of all the stuff that he has, I know a few guys that run the Archer Sword. Um, I've seen a few guys that run the Knight Sword for the increased attack at the beginning. Um, I didn't mean to click on that, but I would, I would, if I could, run as your uh, Scott. I mean, obviously, it's the best there is. It's increasing the amount of damage that he's doing every time, and I mean, he's already going to life steal. So if you can survive a burst, um, I mean, he's just going to do more and more damage, and so he can get kind of crazy. Um, a lot of it's situational. You know, I've seen people change items based on who they're fighting, which is a great thing. You know. Um, I've seen people run Arthur swords against uh, people like Arya with the running a uh, Mira in order to try and stun her to prevent her from healing. So there's a lot of options. Um, I hope that helps you guys on some of that. I want to look at a few final things before I end today, and then obviously you guys can ask questions for the next one. They did some changes. Um, if you look here, the update that's coming in, uh, Lilith, her blood curse has increased the amount she's going to get to heal, so she's going to... Um, become a little bit more tankier, do a little bit more damage. They're changing Charon's awakening skill. Um, so the attack damage and the strength has been increased. Um, and the silence done in a prison state can, it can still be launched. So he can still do this um, even in those states, uh, which is kind of a little OP maybe. We'll see how it plays out. But um, I don't know, we'll kind of go from there. Uh, she's now in the main tank stance. Um, Gridlock's his basic team um, attack has been increased. That may push Gridlock a little bit more into the um, the realm of uh, I'm not just useful against a Blaine. Um, so that's going to be kind of cool. Number five for me is a big one. I'm a big Pearl fan. I've got Pearl um, on my other account uh, where I want her. So they're going to add her an Awakening. The Shark Radius is going to increase if you've ever seen her ult ultimate. Um, and they're also increasing their Dark Tide so it, it attacks enemies in the back. Um, and if there's no back enemies, it obviously moves forward. And now the uh, the passive, the team basic intact, is increased. So that's kind of cool. And then you can finally get her soul stones going from there. York, um, who I have, his um, flamethrower skills have been increased. And again, it's equally shared amongst all the enemies. Um, the tear gas skill, this is going to blind the people in the back. Um, gives a priority over them because usually those are the people that are shooting and hurting you. And it also, they increase the damage of the single dog um, that he's given to everybody. Rick, his armor shield is going to increase more, which makes him even more usable against a physical team. And then um, Jacob, um, on Jacob here, uh, they fixed a bug where sometimes um, his ultimate can be, you know, interrupted by control skills. I don't know if that's a bug. I don't know if that's a bug, like I said, but it's, it's... I mean, it helps them stay alive, so, you know, how are you going to complain? <laughs> On Sizo, they um, fix the animation so you can kind of now tell the difference between the normal Sizo and then when he's doing his blade strike thing. Um, I laugh about this. You know, Max, they added level shop, black market, and other Apple channels um, in the soul exchange for him. Uh, there were guys that got Max and were already bumping him up to level 90 and trying to rune core, <laughs> so there were... They had they had to fix issues because they weren't expecting people to do that that early. Um, they've increased some of the experience drops. They've increased the number of level eight, nine, and ten mines. Um, you can now um, do automatic prayer functions. Uh, I'll show a video on that versus putting it here. Um, and then the kind of cool thing number four is after VIP seven, you um, can now after you've unlocked the crystal sweep, every time you manually do it, you can add additional crystal sweeps up to five so 
that's kind of cool but at the same time i'm like you know if if i can beat it and get all five why would i save it um but i don't know we'll just leave that alone kind of go from there a um, few other things have changed uh, nothing really major uh, just more of kind of fixing stuff um, and they've optimized a few things you can read the rest of it none of that's really kind of something I pay attention to overall but I hope this helps guys I appreciate you all watching I hope you have a great Monday and a great week go ahead and start asking your questions for next week and I will talk to you all later have a good one